Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have a video here to bring you some hope. That's right, I'm bringing you some hope today because I'm going to show you two very quick cards made with this beautiful poinsettia set. This is designed by Alex Siberia for Maker Forte and I am going to show you two quick cards that you can make when you don't feel like coloring. These are beautiful images and they're so beautiful on their own that they really don't need a lot. If you want to color them up, you certainly can and they are gorgeous. But if you don't have time or you don't have the desire to color, then here's a couple options for you and they still turn out just so beautiful. For this first one, I am taking this beautiful paper. It's kind of like a red pink, hot pink color. And this is also from Maker Forte. And I am just heat embossing in kind of a gold color here. It's not really gold, it's not really silver, it's one of my favorite colors. It's called Liquid Platinum. And I'm going to emboss it here on the pink paper and also on some watercolor paper. So these are gonna be the two cards. I am not worried too much about where these flowers are placed. They're exactly the same on both. Like I say, this is a gorgeous stamp set. You don't have to do much with it. It's already beautiful in its own right. And so now for this pink one, I'm simply going to take a little bit of this kaleidoscope powder and it kind of is shimmery and changes colors. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna take two colors here. Whoops, got a little bit much of that one, but I've got Aurora and I've got Hubble and one is a little bit darker than the other. But these also have kind of a glitter to them, like a light glitter. And here I'm just testing it out to see what these colors are going to look like on this pink card. It makes it a little bit darker. You can see the colors just a touch, but it still remains true to its pink color. So this is going to darken it up a little and it's also going to add some shimmer, glitter, and I'll show you in the light in just a moment. So all I'm doing is adding a little bit of water, taking my paintbrush and taking the darker color and placing it in the middle of each of these poinsettias. These two cards did not take me very long at all. In fact, I think only about 20 minutes for both of these cards. So that's why I'm saying this is a pretty quick technique and it turns out really pretty as well. So not a lot of time, not a lot of effort, but a lot of payout in the end. So take a look at how this shimmers in the light. I'm just adding a little more darkness, but here you go, there's the shimmer. It's a little hard to see with that embossing powder, but I'll show you at the end, you will definitely be able to see it more when I finish. For this one on the watercolor paper, I'm doing an underpainting with the Hubble and Aurora, the same that I did before, and I'm just going to drop in some watercolor paints. The watercolor paints I'm using are the Altenew 32 or 36 pan watercolors, and I'm just using a couple of colors. When you do the underpainting with the kaleidoscope powder, it adds a little bit of that shimmer, and then it also gives you some variation in the color when you are finished. So I'm letting the water do most of the work here. I'm not gonna fuss with this too much. I'm just gonna let that dry, then add a little bit more to the edges as I add some water so that it blends out to a lighter color of the pink poinsettia. So just dropping in some darker in the center here, I'm gonna do the same technique on the other flower, and then we'll finish this out by painting the leaves just with the watercolor. So the flowers are what's going to have the most pop. They're gonna have the shimmer of that kaleidoscope powder underneath, and then the color from the watercolor on top. So even if you're not familiar with watercolors so much or you haven't used them so much, give this a try because all you do is drop in some paint on the wet petals and let the water do the work. And it always turns out so different, but also very fun. Now I have some kaleidoscope powder in Shooting Star, and this one is just white with the glitter in it, the mica glitter, and I'm just going to, I should have moved that panel aside. <laughs> I'm just gonna add some water and then paint the rest of these petals with the white so that it is just shimmery, it fades out to the white, and in the center is the darker pink. And that's it. This is only gonna take me just a few minutes. You'll be surprised at the shimmer 
I think you will be. I hope you love it. I, I just love how these turned out. So there is a look at all that shimmer. Look how pretty it is. Some of those are darker and some are lighter and they all shine really pretty. I'm just gonna finish up painting these leaves. I'll start by just painting them with a little bit of the green watercolor, drop in some darker watercolor near the flowers and that's all there is to it. I'll, I'll finish the rest of this off camera so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but it's pretty much the same. And I wanna show you how all these cards turned out in the end. To finish off the pink card, I black heat embossed the sentiment on the front, and then I added a gold glitter frame around that. And for the watercolor one, I heat embossed it with the same embossing powder that I used around the flowers. So that liquid platinum. And now because this warped just a little from all the water, I'm going to attach it to the pink paper using some foam tape. And that's the one I practice on at the beginning, but you will never even know it because I'm covering up with the panel here. And then we'll add both of those to a top folding note card. That pretty much flattened it out right there. So just to finish it, I use some liquid adhesive to add that all around the back and stick it to the 100 pound card base, just like that. So I'll give you a look at both of those cards here. Here's how we finished up the pink one with that gold, and here is the watercolored one. I ended up putting some yellow watercolor in the center of those flowers, and for the pink one, I added some black gel pen so that it would mimic the black sentiment. And those sentiments are also from the same stamp set, the poinsettia set from Maker Forte. So that's all there is to it. I think these turned out beautiful. They were very quick and sometimes you just need that around the holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed this look at two cards with two ideas for making a very quick and easy beautiful card for the holidays for Christmas. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help out with YouTube. I really appreciate your thumbs up and your comments. And thanks again for stopping by. I'll be back real soon with more inspiration and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.